you see the big kidney, you will rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring that little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. To say the new era of Doctor Who, trying to predict what it's going to be like, is uh, confusing and difficult, is somewhat of an understatement, isn't it? We get lots of very good news and lots of very bad news. And lots of news, I think, is, is up to you, your own personal work. Uh, 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 interpretation. I know some people are not happy with Shooter's casting. I think he's going to be... He, to me so far, Shooty looks absolutely fantastic, right? He looks like he's going to be great. The Millie super looks fantastic. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm happy with that. That, that you yeah, know, very, very much, right? It's uh, That's very much good Russell T. Davis. But there's also bad Russell T. Davis, uh, uh, which I don't know. I, I think it might actually be a good thing that both sides of the cultural art are somewhat pissed off at him. And it's like, Which I know sounds crazy, no matter what side the cultural for a while we were on, right? Unless you're a normal person who uh, who just likes to watch Doctor Who and not be bothered. Uh, hello, if you if you are that person. Uh, um, but uh, 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 this is good, Rusty Davis. Murray Gold coming back is undoubtedly good, Rusty Davis. That I am very very happy about. We covered his uh, interview in Doctor Who magazine last night on my uh, on a live stream. I live stream every night. That's uh, I'm not sure when this video is going out. It, the live stream was on Sunday, but as I say I live stream every night. Uh, um, I'm live streaming from Rumble, from uh, Twitter, and from YouTube. You can catch me on all those platforms. Go and look in the video notes. There is where you will find me. Links to everything. Thank you very much uh, uh, for subscribing, following, whatever, liking, sharing, subscribing, all those things are fan freaking fantastic. Thank you very much. You'll be super nice to me. Head over to Rumble. Subscribe to me there. That's the thing I really would like you to do. That will make my life much better. It really would. Genuine. It's so pathetic, but it is true. That would genuinely make my life a lot better. Uh, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things are fantastic. And they're saying that Tucker Colson might sign uh, uh, exclusive to Rumble, which is for me, would be awesome because more people will come to Rumble, so uh, 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 more, I would get a bigger audience. So basically, so like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things are fantastic. Uh, uh, anything else I can think to tell you? No, go, go look in the video. It's also my sub stack. You should sign up to that. Why? Because it's awesome, baby. Everything about me is awesome. I, I hate I hate to brag. Well, I don't. I like bragging. I hate to brag, uh, 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 but it's just true. I cannot, you know, I can't argue when I'm telling the truth and, and, and everything I do is awesome. That's just, that, that's just my impartial uh, what's the word? review <laughs> fine with that said uh, let me head over to me from last night I don't know Rosa looks hot in the 50s more than in the 2000s in my opinion right uh, maybe it's the hills uh, I really got to download this I, I, I've never really listened to any of these so I never really liked them but the big news like the big news ladies and gentlemen uh, uh, is of course the return of the wonderful Murray Gold. This is like that wonderful piece of artwork. Man, I think I might steal that for the uh, the thumbnail. This is fantastic. Who, who's the graphic designer in this? Uh, this is excellent work. I'm saying, I, I got to give credit where credit's due because that's really genuinely good work. Wait, who's the uh, website? Okay, our editor Mike Jones. Okay, then Mike Jones, you were that that is. You, that is a fabulous big piece of work you did, right? Absolutely fabulous piece of work. Uh, uh, if I may say so. Like, yeah, I'm sorry to derail the stream to go, wow, that guy really bought it, right? Look at this. It's beautiful, right? It's, it's It really kind of nails lots about Murray Gold and Doctor Who. And like it put... It gives you the sci-fi and the, and the romance together, which it, it, just visually... Yeah, and the eye and the you know, kind of thing. It's just really nice. It's a really, really nice piece of work. Uh, Gold Faithful. Six years after leaving, being fired. The Herb, stop. Oh, boom. Page view. Uh, there we go. Six years after uh, being booted out by Chris Chibnall and his uh, uh, idiocy for. <laughs> Uh, Murray Gold is back. I couldn't be happy to tell douchebag extraordinaire Benjamin Cook. Benjamin Cook, okay, in the, pageant, the tragedy of Benjamin Cook, he's very talented. Much like uh, Paul Cornell, very, very talented. I, uh, you know, if only that talent could uh, uh, result in a, a more elevated human being. Alas, not. Alas, not. They, uh, 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 but uh, uh, still, no, to do his interviews. 
Uh, but it won't be quiet. It won't be safe. Uh, it won't be quiet. It won't be safe. Uh, and it won't be calm. I'll tell you what, it will be fine. We've got to see that clip now. Oh, don't you know if you say that, I have to watch that clip. Fortunately, I haven't. <laughs> no, I think I do. I don't, here we go. Do you want to come with me? Yes! Because if you do, then I should warn you. If you do, if you do. Oh, this was, this, was, this was so good. Because if, oh. if you do, then I should warn you. You're going to see all sorts of things. I, 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 he really actually nailed the Doctor in, the, in this trailer. Much more than in the rest of it. This, was this shot after everything? You think? Uh, what about Citadel? Uh, Mr. Seas is fantastic too. Yeah, yeah, uh, it is fantastic. Uh, uh, I think because he's really got a hand. You're going to see all sorts of things. Because, like, he's got great gravitas here, which he never really had in his earlier episodes. Ghosts from the past, aliens from the future, the day the Earth died in a ball of flame. I mean, there's a confidence in him. It won't be quiet, it won't be safe, and it won't be calm. But... Oh, I love it! I'll tell you what it will be. Tell you what it will be. I'll tell you what it will be. Oh. The trip of a lifetime. Freaking awesome. I, again, I, 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 this is fantastic, right? Absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, <laughs> go for Cold Harry Kelly. Music by Hanson. <laughs> oh, yeah. The trip of a lifetime. Of a lifetime. Doctor Who. Saturdays at 7 on BBC One. Oh, awesome. <laughs> happy days, 2005. Happy days, man. You don't know. Listen, live in the moment, baby, because you don't know how good that moment is, right? We didn't know how good that moment was. We didn't. Uh, we really didn't. And, and now I think uh, well, a lot of us do, right? Live in the moment. Appreciate the time before, you, before they're over, right? Uh, by the time you read this, uh, the news will be out. Murray Gold is rejoining uh, 18 years after Rose, the first episode he scored, and six years since his Swan Song uh, serial, Twice Upon a Time. We predict uh, that this will be an internet breaker uh, and that a lot of Doctor Who magazine readers will be very pleased. Yes, a, a lot, because, you know, a lot of Doctor Who fans will be very pleased because he's very good, right? I mean, oh. He really, really, I mean, he's just defying the series uh, um, to a great extent with that, that. And I'm not a music fan, but his music really was a character within the series. It, 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 it had that uh, romance, right? It has so much romance in it, right? And fairy tale and danger and wonder uh, um, and playfulness, right? It, I mean, like, those, those scores are great. I love the um, the, the the score for uh, the it was a girl in the fireplace. The TikTok uh, uh, people advance, I think, is, is, what, is what it was called. Uh, just so, so it, everything has its own theme, right? Um, so I, I'm I'm really really um, uh, psyched from coming. Yeah, look, look, we have this we have this ongoing thing: good Russell, bad Russell, good Russell, bad Russell. Which Russell are we going? Right, uh, uh, it, uh, uh, <laughs> it could be eight either one on any day. We don't know which good Russell, bad Russell, good go either way, mate. Uh, uh, Jigs Monsoon Russell, Ru Murray Gold Russell. Who who knows what the day will bring? You know, it could be anything. But he's like, oh yeah, we just we just brought back Patrick Trouton. Yeah, how? Don't, don't ask. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Uh, 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 you yeah, know, for, for a couple of seasons. Yeah, like, really? Okay, that's why that works. Uh, um, like, yeah, good Russell, bad Russell. What would it be? <laughs> yeah. That would actually be a great board game with a, uh, 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 uh you know, like, you have to, it's the production of Doctor Who and you get a good Russell, bad Russell card. Right? <laughs> Set you back. <laughs> Uh, uh, appreciate the time before the world economic form force ESG on the world. Yeah, those bastards. Um, I don't get out much. I don't do social media. Good man, says the man himself. But if people are happy, that's really cute. We are really happy, mate. And I'm glad you think it's cute. <laughs> I like that. 
well, you should like it a lot because we are all very happy, right? This is saying, oh, no, we're not all happy. The weirdos are gnashing teeth, which is mm, even better. Could not be better. Uh, he was sad to leave in 2012. But yeah, I'll sadly, when they fired me for no reason other than they were cunts and idiots. Uh, um, <laughs> but it was a wild ride. Yay! What's it going to uh Rossi Davis' was a wild ride. Murray Gold's wild ride. Uh, but at a wild ride, well, listen, I think that's what Rossi Davis is trying to get out this season. Uh, and fans was, uh, were sorry to see him go. Well, tears must uh, now be unwept, declares Russell. Suck those tears back in. Yeah, we're undoing all the idiot mistakes, right? He's video calling D. Adrian from his Arctic turned uh, from an attic. <laughs> Arctic. I thought he has, has uh, fortress of uh, uh, fortress of solitude. Uh, turn music studio at the at the North London home that he shares with his wife Gemma and their two daughters, aged five and three. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, uh, very nice. Uh, the studio walls are clad in black uh, soundproof panels, creating a perfectly dark background. Uh, Murray's black t-shirt adds the effect, making it look like he's floating head around. Face. Sounds like he's interviewing Holly. <laughs> uh, but the infinity... See, look! This is painting a picture. This is very good work. Uh, ben Cook knows how to write. He does know how to write. Uh, yeah, if only he wouldn't have spent his life on Twitter to, to validate himself, I think he will be old, he will go far. Um, but the infinite void is a fitting backdrop because uh, Mari is the is in an existential mood ah. within minutes of saying hello, he's riffing on his uh, similar, similar old crown theory. I quite enjoy the lightness of the eye that it gives me. Uh, uh, that I don't even realize that I don't even realize I don't exist. Uh, and what happens when we die? You go through, the, you go into the ground and get eaten by wolves. Although uh, your body does, but your body's not you. You know, I say that to my dad when he was dying. I said, I said, Dad, it's just your body, mate. He was like, What? And I'm like, No, it's yeah, like it's just your body. Your body isn't you. All right, don't make your body you. There we go, doink. Uh, but remember, we should probably ask him about his decision to return, right? It wasn't the decision that he desists because uh, free will is an illusion. Uh, okay. No, no, because, uh, ha, no, because nobody uh, uh, who asked Russell to do the show uh, would turn it down. <laughs> Russell, uh, I'm certainly not going to. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, this is Russell D. Davis, Doctor Who's showrunner. I mean, Obviously, I'm going to do it. I'm so glad you obviously did. And it's just such a diss to Jim, though. It's wonderful. I can't not do it. So I never decided. Uh, uh, they just asked me. He pulls. I'm not even sure I decided uh, that the first time either in 2005. Yeah, it was like things way up, uh, go up. Uh, 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 think, uh, weigh things up and go, oh, uh, uh, on the plus side, uh, this and on the downside, that. You know, I just thought, yes, of course. I kept saying yes for about 12 years until they said, fuck off. Uh, 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 and the serious tanked. <laughs> yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Uh, you, they, they lived and let die. Uh, it's hard to overstate the extent to which Murray's music etched in the fabric of younger millennials everywhere. And Murray's music, like the TV show itself, uh, quickly achieved pop culture status. It graced every new episode and there was clipped, uh, uh, then it was clipped and repackaged, uploaded to social uh, social media platforms through like mid noughties uh, debut on YouTube. Yes, I remember that. Uh, and it's Latter Day Challenger TikTok. It's got a uh, further boost or uh, from music streaming boom. Uh, Mara's 2010 track "I Am the Doctor," written by for uh, Matt Smith's incarnation, is now. Almost uh, as recognized as the iconic theme. I think so too. I love that, right? As it is one way, one of the best themes ever, right? Is uh, approaching uh, 12 million streams on Spotify and in YouTube plays, uh, number more than doubles. Wow. 
Meanwhile, Mari's uh, toxic music filled with uh, filled the alcohol problems in 2008, 2010, 2013. And they all sounded fabulous. Right? Uh, man. I mean, like, what a success to turn into what a failure. Right? I mean, like, what absolute success to turn into a failure. Unbelievable. Fine. Uh, but anyway, so the doctor, uh, 2006 Top 2 celebration toured Australia. Okay, okay, blah 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 blah. Okay, you're doing my head in, mate. Yeah, uh, we had uh, COVID pandemic fans going to get online to form. Okay, yeah, that was creepy. Uh, uh, the the uplifting thing from Rings of Akaten that was a piece of shit. Ring, Rings of Akaten, like, you know, lo love you, Mari. Yeah, let's be, I love you enough to tell you the truth. That was a piece of shit, right. Uh, when I started writing music on Doctor Who, there was quite a lot of criticism to being too emotional, uh, or um, you know, uh, uh, that that all was fine. Uh, I don't mind that, uh, okay, fine, you don't mind that. People have lots of different tastes, but I feel like oh, uh, uh, over the years it did sort of spread around and people connected to my music, okay, you know, that episode with Martha when she whispers something into Ever's ear. That spread around the whole world to defeat the master. That's to the 2007 finale. Uh, last of the time was yeah, 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 like that, yeah, like that. Okay, so you say you made that kind of a thing. Something was in the air. I, I hear what you're saying. Okay. Uh, it was May 2022 when I walked in, and he remembers uh, uh, they were playing my music. Donna's theme uh, was on. Okay, what's it? The last time Murray was in uh, Cardiff was at the Reaver 6th Anniversary Special uh, starring David Tennant as a 14th Doctor and Catherine Tate as Donna Noble. Uh, it was May 2022. I, as, when I walked in, uh, he remembers, they were playing my music, Donna's theme. Honestly, I was made up. I can, I can imagine, right? I felt like... I, I like how, how honest and straight up he is, right? Who is that? Okay, who those that are quite like legs? Okay, Jenna. Look nice, Nice pair of gams you got going on there, darling. If you don't mind me saying so, uh, um, not 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 as good as uh, what a name Chopra's uh, everything. Uh, what's the name again? Um, I can't remember. Uh, the, the woman from Citadel who was gorgeous, right? Just gorgeous. Uh, da, 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 da. And they want, they want me back. I did shed a little tear. Yes! Vindicated at last. Uh, uh, really got to me. And there was a wooden TARDIS with my name on it. <laughs> I was like having that. I felt like Eddie Murphy in Trading Places. Like, like you don't have to steal it, sir. It's yours. <laughs> uh, and uh, David was there and Russell. Uh, and yeah, it felt like coming home. Yeah, I bet everyone had a good time, right? We're here to save Doctor Who. Uh, uh, they never said to anybody, obviously, to everybody. Uh, my only regret is when I had kids, they never got to see me working on Doctor Who. I thought, well, that's a shame because they would have enjoyed that. Cut to five years later, it's me stealing a TARDIS off a table so I can bring it home and present, present it as a trophy. I like how straightforward he is. Like, he really, I, I, that's what I would do. I'm like, I'm going to nick that. <laughs> Ah. Now, then, months later, with the episodes he's scoring right now, what uh, what can he say? I can uh, I can say whatever I want, <laughs> and you can choose to put uh, uh, put in. I'm mad. This guy is very uh, existential, All right? Uh, so I've done special one and special three. I haven't done well uh, one single note of special two. Okay. <laughs> And I have been sent a bunch of other scripts for uh, the 15th Doctor Shooting Gut was uh, a debut episode. Russell has been putting music and musical elements into the scripts. That's interesting. Uh, uh, in some really interesting, exhilarating ways. Uh, Russell, knowing Murray's music, uh, it will take it take it to the next level. Uh, I mean, I bet it will, but I, there's a lot of music going on in this thing. Yeah, this was like. Attack of the uh, 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 Toxic Phantom. <laughs> it really was. These were like, I, I, I can't remember, some of the worst people ever. I don't know. Uh, um, 
or maybe it's not them. I don't know. Uh, who was this gold standard? When Russell knew he was returning to talk to, uh, I think Murray was the second person I phoned. First was Phil. Uh, oh, first was Bad Wolf, second was Murray. Uh, it was uh, that was done thing. Yeah, we all waiting for ages, Russell, mate. Like forever. What's going on? Like we said, this is going on forever, mate. Uh, Murray just fits. He does, right? Uh, uh, it's hard to explain. It's like uh, not explaining it, to be honest. He, he just gets my writing uh, kind of uh, in every. He understands the scripts way, way beyond the page. Uh, he, I mean, he does. He takes it. Like, and, I mean, man, I love Gridlock, mainly because of uh, uh, Murray Gold's score, right? That whole hymn. I thought, yeah, I mean, you you can only write a gridlock with a Murray Gold, right? With with a rapport or something like like uh, Murray Gold, right? Um, if Peter Rich said, I think Jim was trying to hint at Lung Barrow at the time of his children and flux, but didn't uh, want to pay Mark Platt. That sounds right for the privilege, and we got unintelligible tribe instead. Yes, pretty much, pretty much. Uh, 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 but you know, let's. I, I what we're going to get in the future? I don't know. Right, it's a, it really is a great unknown for me right now. Uh, five was uh, Russell Combs and Murray would say yes, uh, actually, no. Oh, interesting. Uh, Doctor is a very emotional thing for all of us. Uh, I was very wary that it, uh, it was wrong to uh, that uh, very wary that he'd think it would be wrong to return. Life has changed, he's got a family now, he's moved on, uh, uh, and sometimes people are just busy. Murray wasn't able to score Bob and Rose in 2001 because of all the uh, and all those years ago because he had too much uh, work going on. Although then scored by uh, Martin and Phipps, uh, who was amazing. So uh, good, but yeah, yeah, no, look, it's uh, uh, talented people are have busy schedules, right? That that makes sense. So where am I up to? Uh, doing. Uh, there we go. Fine. Once I heard a cover version of Bob and Rose uh, in a sauna. <laughs> okay, Russell, why is everything in us here? I was in a, I was in a New York bathhouse. Oh, no reason. Uh, 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 you can, uh, but you can never take uh, anything for granted. I was so delighted that Murray said yes. Blah, blah, blah. Happy. Of course he was, right? Uh, he was the orchestra I, uh, uh, one of their recordings. Uh, blah blah blah. When did Murray probably realize how loved Murray's Doctor Who music is? I think it was when University Channel uh, had around asking for themes to identify the Doctor Who companions, right? By their theme tune. Wow, that's wild because you can say yes, they did. They all had very, very distinct theme tunes, right? Um. <laughs> yeah. I before up until then, I think the people with theme tunes were like. Savlon Glitz and the Master. And I think... Let me turn the heat off now. Now, now oh, man, damn, I'll have to run control in the other room. Oh, it's been so cold. So I'd, I, I had, I'd had the heat on, but boy, now, now I'm getting out to Schmitz, baby. Uh, next time I get up, next time I get up, I will get the remote control. That's the plan. Fine. There's a picture of Harriet Joes in the round about fictional prime ministers. That's a fan at work in the office. I'm sure it was. Fine. So Murray explains, people started saying, yeah, we really need to speak to Murray. Director Mark uh, Tondurai overseeing the 2023 Christmas special. Uh, I was like, what can he, po uh, what can he possibly want? Then uh, Ben Chesel, who's directing episode two, this was January 26th, and I'm, uh, I'm directing it. Uh, and he says, I'm directing this episode, and it seems to have a lot of music in it. Direct that's a 1960s one, right? Can you can you have a look at it? There's another director and another, and it started to uh, dawn on me. There's an awful lot of music going on in this series. Oh, uh, Russell, don't make me scared, mate. Really? Don't make me scared. I don't know. That's where gay men go to oogle at each other. Yeah, so exactly. Everything. Russell, literally everything is about you getting a handy. Can I have a story without you getting a finger up your ass? Right? Uh, is that too much to ask? 
I don't know. I don't know. Uh, 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 what's the matron? Maybe it is. Uh, blank. Uh, 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 I was speaking to myself, not realizing, of course, that my consciousness is just a fantasy. Okay, and apparently Russell uh, uh, entrusted it all to me. Uh, actually, quite an honor. I love that man. Russell Murray's creative partnership, uh, 20 Vanity Fair, blah, blah, blah. Queer as folk. Uh, dying. Sparking important conversation about HIV. It's a sin. Russell e. Davis. Doctor Who scripts are bold and progressive as, as anything he or Doctor Who, for that matter, has ever attempted before. Oh, you're saying lots of bad things, Murray, which Murray attributes uh, in part to It's a Sin. Russell's been on a kind of national treasure category for a while now. He said he just doesn't uh, doesn't like sitting on those laurels. Uh, with It's a Sin, I think he embraced uh, by a younger generation. And let's face it, the younger generation has always loved uh, uh, everything that boomers stand for. I, well, not really. The young generation are like pure evil co-opted to like, you know, uh, like go, go and watch Picard. That was basically what happened. Um, yeah. I don't want to give something back to him. And that's why he found his way into new Doctor Who. Okay. Yeah. That's the, the ongoing story. Uh, doink. <laughs> uh, it'll be Marissa Marigold. Uh, uh, is the missing? Uh, is it the missing CD? He he cuts in. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what's going to happen with it? Um, of the ten seasons he scored, only one uh, did not get soundtrack release. Uh, why is he laughing? Uh, anything I say uh, in answer to that question is going to uh, be inadequate. Murray says we've had two British monarchs, four uh, prime ministers, and at least five Spider-Man movies since Series Ten aired. Uh, there's a fan run Twitter account that says season 10 album when dedicated to documenting what's past us all by. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, a bit since the album hasn't come out. Uh, uh, in the last year, Brendan Fraser, Michelle Yeoh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Ki Hu Guan have become the first time Oscar winners uh, uh, for the, uh, before series 10. <laughs> Soundtrack. Okay, Roger Frederick got, uh, has retired from uh, professional... Blah, blah, blah. So what's happening with it? Uh, I don't know what happened, says Murray, shaking his head. Well, all those uh, uh, events happened. Yeah, he said there's... Uh, says out there somewhere, he's gone and done uh, the existential again. Right? Does that answer the question? No! Uh, how long after this interview do, uh, do we think it'll be before uh, all of all Murray Gold is returning to Doctor Who's uh, before uh, season then so it's, uh, uh, tweets. Uh, two hours? Uh, uh, probably. Uh, bring a season. I, mean, I don't know why they wouldn't release it. It looks like free money. Right? Uh, fine. Mar Murray's music... Okay, this is good. Okay, we're getting some information. Uh, who is this, by the way? That's Dudley Simpson. Ah, and Delia Derbyshire. Fine. As ever, Myra's music will match the energy, warmth, and audacity of Russell's writing. Uh, Russell's scripts seduce us, and uh, Myra's uh, scores do, too. Well, maybe more so. Resistance is futile. 2005, Mar Murray Gold alluded uh, to the above. Some fans use the lower key function uh, and the otherworldly experimental tones of classic were superstitious of Murray's big, colorful, adrenaline fueled th uh, themes. Well, at first, he wanted to do something much more esoteric, I believe. Right? Uh, suddenly, Doctor Who was uh, interpersing synth pot with uh, guitar rock and uh, or or orchestral pop. Uh, that is true. Okay. In what Murray once described in the, these pages, Whatever the opposite of minimalism is, maximism, right? To be fair, the Night Talks have warned us uh, it won't be quiet, it won't be safe, it won't be calm. Uh, we've already seen that. I'll tell you what, it will be the trip of a lifetime. And it has been, it has been. Uh, I'm skipping. I use music to try and bring people up, lift people's spirits. Oh, we really need that now. 
when I write music, I'm always near uh, trying to cheer myself up uh, in terms of elation and spirit lifting. Okay. Communicating with the infinite. Uh, man, this guy is, is he just high? He sounds like he's just really super high. Uh, music has the ability to speak directly to that inside us and that uh, and all that sad and soft and vulnerable. That's why I love music. Well, I think that's, that's actually, yeah, I, I, you can hear that as music. Actually, um, sad, soft, and vulnerable. That's really, like, you do hear that in his music, you know, the vulnerability of, of people. Uh, quite, quite beautifully, actually. Ah, oh, we have to. Uh, which probably makes it, um, uh, did it? Oh no, skip. Uh, I visibly, I visibly remember that Murray said somebody, uh, somebody down a mine shelf glowing green, and I was, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, okay, so he's talking about his arcade memories of Doctor Who, okay. Um, <laughs> Noah's wearing an infected bubble wrapped arm. That was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, uh, okay, fine. Well, I want to hear about the new series, right? So, okay, so he remembers the Green Death. Everybody remembers the Green Death. Everybody loves the Green Death. Uh, we're on, uh, from Ark in Space, uh, also scored by Simpson, making uh, five year old Mari feel physically sick. I, look, they did a good job with that. I mean, in all fairness, they did a really good job with that. Um, where are we up to? Uh, 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 today it's one of his all-time favorite stories. Another fave from that year is a simply called Planet of Evil. Not a great story, mate. <laughs> Fine. Much of the pre-team... Okay, no, geez, move on. Uh, okay, what's if... Uh, Fine. In 2005, the orchestral uh, uh, interpreted and incorporated aspects of Darvish's 1950, 1963 original. What he got planned for? What, uh, what does he have planned for the Doctor Who theme this time round? Uh, I think, ha ha! Uh, probably you're going to be expecting a version that spins on Russell's favorite iteration of the theme. Well, uh, I'm sure you. Uh, um, uh, sure, if you de delve through Russell's interviews, you'll be able to find which one is, well, that was, or which ones. Okay, a while back, uh, uh, quite a while, Russell hinted that he wanted the 2016 tune to be bigger with more piano, right? Uh, I mentioned this to Murray, and his eyes widen as he reaches the pencil and says, Oh, I'm glad you told me, he said, pretending to make notes. Uh, wait, he's making notes, uh, must rewrite theme. That's it. Uh, he got us rumbled. Uh, is he teasing us? Uh, we, you can't, you don't know, right? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, who knows or dares to dream? Fine, okay, I've got to turn the heat off. Let, let, I've got to, see, I was smart. I thought I, I thought I was smart. I brought the remote control into the living room while I was watching Citadel, right? Because it was cold. Uh, uh, but then I, I was stupid. I've got to bring it back. Wait there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to find it. Nearly there. Hang on one second. Ah, I found it. I found it. Oh. Oh, man. It's like a tropical rainforest here. Oh, my God. I feel like the whole place is the inside of my armpit. Oh. Yes, be gone, Hellspawn. Oh. Well, hopefully that will cool things down. It's bloody cold out. Really weird. Uh, before New Who, Rossi lived in Queerest Folk, which was uh, more out there and groundbreaking than it's a sin. Um, maybe, yeah. I think, pro I don't know. So that that's, that's probably. Right? That's what I would say. Pro yeah, probably. See, I wasn't in England at the time. So it, it was hard for me to judge the cultural climates, right? Um... So Mara's a bit on the spectrum. Okay, says PD. Yeah, he starts seeming, doesn't he? Fine. <laughs> so what would I, uh, and what would I say is we're talking more, more than one main theme? Wait, shut up. What? Uh, I don't see why it can't be a different one every week, he says, uh, definitely teasing us. Fine. When uh, interviewed in 2005, he described the Chris and Eccles and Night Doctors, High Plains Drifter, 
and he was a, a scarred soul and carried a lot of pain. Well, David Tennant's Tenant Doctor was written like he's got over it. Uh, since then, Murray scored two more Doctors and two eras, uh, and uh, another two on the way. And he still got, as he still went out for uh, pull quotes. He describes Matt Smith's Doctor as a gangly, eccentric, and unexpectedly warm. You don't imagine such warmth coming from uh, that face. And Peter Wells' Doctor, uh, I want to call him the Mount Rushmore Doctor, the but a bit more. Uh, uh, Peter will thank me for that. He's more like a rock and roll, uh, uh come here, uh, Hall of Famer, a slightly Rushmore ish way. Okay, I kind of understand it, but man, whoa, working out what he's talking about is not easy. Let me tell you, where are we up to? What can we expect from Tenant 2, the 14th Doctor? He steps right back into character and, and never left it, uh, with the uh, with I suppose. Added or of what the hell am I doing here? Uh, as a character, I mean, because this is the question mark that sort of le uh, threads the episodes together. Now that David and Catherine, so okay, so it's basically played the same, right? So now that David and Catherine are reprising their role, uh, Magic Double Act, can we expect to, uh, can we expect that? Uh, that musical, uh, some, in, uh, some callbacks as well, it's inevitable. That you're going to get the old uh, reminiscence for, uh, for example, there's a little Donna's theme as soon as we hear uh, here in episode one. Uh, yeah, well, we would want that, right? And a bit of the Doctor's theme in there too, but they're uh, not old recordings. It's music that I've done uh, so far. It's all brand new. Well, that's why I believe. That's why I figured, right? And yes, what about Shooter's got Doctor? Uh, what Paul Coat can we get from him? Uh, from what I've seen of Shooty. He's dazzling, right? He dazzles immediately, and he radiates tremendous warmth, and he's got a gravitational pull uh, that's powerful. I bet he does. Man, okay, that's the best description that we've had so far, right? That, that sounds very, very good, right? That sounds very, very, very good to me. Uh, yeah, that, sounds very, that sounds very Tom Bakerish, right? Um... But yeah, 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 that's a, that sounds very good. Okay, um, so it's got all this. I, I, I can believe the warmth, right? I really, that, that's really exciting, right? I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, he's uh, more good news. The BBC National Orchestra of Wales is back too. Uh, they have worked on, they haven't worked on Doctor Who for a while. <laughs> it's a good and cooler. Morris, a successor, uh, uh, took a piss on Doctor Who, developed scores with different orchestras, and they did so well. No. Um, uh, they really done two days. Oh, was it so? I've already done two days with them. Uh, reveals my they're fantastic. The first day they recorded, uh, the first rec they recorded in 2005 around 25 minutes of music for the Christmas invasion, and then the next 12 years they uh were the mainstay of Doctor Who, infusing Murray's. Yeah, I remember when they came in, right? They um. They really wanted to do the show, uh, you can tell, and they're thrilled to be back. It's like, look, honestly, it's getting the band back together. That's 100% what this is, right? Um, so, again, yeah, this is good Russell. Good Russell, bad Russell. What are you going to get? This is good Russell, right? I don't know. Like, hopefully he's got all his whack man material out, out of his system now. And he's not going to go to Planet the Dildias, right? Oh, the doctor has to sit on top of the giant dildios, right? Uh, 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 you know, while uh, uh, Millie goes to the island of Lesbos. I'm up for that. That I could go for, right? That, that, uh, yes. That might actually, uh, uh, you know, I think, you know, in... Millie's good to uh, uh, be fluid, baby, because that will make me me rigid, then fluid, then rigid again. Uh, um, for. <laughs> I was on the train to Cardiff for the first recording uh, session on January 16th. And I sort of thought, will it be the same? Will anybody remember? Will we be greeted warmly? When I arrived at Millennium Centre, there was an orchestra base, uh, uh, well, the orchestra base, this lad on security just looked at me and said, oh, good to have you back, Mr. Gold. Uh, I said, are you kidding? Uh, we've really missed you. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I don't think anything uh, uh, that happens, they can top that. Well, okay then. <laughs> it doesn't take much to please him. Okay. Uh, uh, then, uh, then I walked in and the orchestra started clapping. Uh, he choked up again. Uh, it was the loveliest thing. It was a tremendous feeling. Well, yeah, because it's the conquering heroes, 
returning to their 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 homeland. That's exactly what it is. Uh, it's the same in every room in the whole damn show. Everyone just fills it up. It's here. Look, there's a love. Look, there is a lot of love going into this show. That that is unbelievable. That is undeniable. There's a lot of love going going into this iteration of the show. Just maybe you know some of it might be a uh, uh, bodily fluid love. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Disney nights are Pride nights after dark love. Uh, he pulls it from a moment suspended in a infinite void. So yes, it is good to be back. Well, I'm glad you thought that through, Murray. Right? I'm glad you thought that through, mate. Uh, um, okay, so fine. Uh, uh, I'm happy Mar Murray Gold's coming back, right? I'm happy Murray Gold's coming back. My name's Fila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. Yeah!